Uh-oh. Run, little buddy, run. Here comes the car. Run, run. No, run. Good morning, beautiful hearts. Just having some coffee and listening to the birds. I stayed at Cracker Barrel last night. I stay at so many Cracker Barrels. Every once in a while, I will stay at a Flying J. Um, but I prefer Cracker Barrels. Yeah, so I was up super early. I left like right at seven and drove over here to the national park. Um, you don't have to pay to get in here. You don't need a pass to get in here. It's kind of like hot springs, where it's just kind of part of the surrounding area. It's in between Akron and Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, I'm at Indigo Lake. It's a little pull-off. It has access to um, the trail, if you want to go on the trail. Um, yeah, just... Having some coffee. The visitor center doesn't open until 9.30. So I was just kind of hanging out. Having my coffee and relaxing and listening to the birds. Um, I'm on an angle. So I'm actually facing towards the front 
of the van leaning against the back which is nice I can lay either way I'm gonna go to the visitor center and I'm gonna go check out Brandywine Falls it looks really pretty there's a little trail there to go on a little hike I've been so comfortable in here though, sleeping so good. Oh my goodness, yesterday I was gonna stay at Jesse Owens um, State Park. It's free, it's, um, it's a free camp and there's multiple campgrounds. And I went to Sand Hollow and I guess it's this time of year, but I was invaded by stink bugs. So I didn't stay because it was like something out of Alfred Hitchcock. I'm laughing now, but I wasn't laughing then because I was brushing them away with this little brush that I have. And they were like coming right back. I ended up having to uh, dig out my bug spray and spray like every corner and crevice on the outside because they were starting to make their way in. I don't know how. That's how I figured out that it was happening because they started to make their way into the van and I was like what is happening <laughs> what is going on and seriously it was like a horror <laughs> at an Alfred Hitchcocker <laughs> deliverance I was like is the bugs from deliverance oh goodness and just the, the wind and um I had my fan on because they were getting all up on the outside of the fan trying to get in like they were just I guess that's what they do. They just try and find any crack and crevice that they can get into. I don't know if it's mating season or what, but there was dozens, dozens of them. And <laughs> I think I got bug spray like five times in my face. It was, it was not a good moment uh, for me. <laughs> I, I wasn't laughing about it then. But yeah, <laughs> it's those experiences, I guess. In the moment, you don't, you're not laughing right away, <laughs> but you crack up later. morning.
Cute. I'm gonna walk over and see if I can get close to that groundhog. He keeps going back out on the road. I see him going back out on the road again. <laughs> I wonder what's out there. So cute. Little chunk. Oh, look, he's standing up. <laughs> I love those little groundhogs. They're so funny. Chunk. It's time to give Harmony her first hand wash bath. I gave her a, um, you know, I've given her a car wash, but that was before I put the fan in. Since I put the Max Air fan in, I'm only going to hand wash it. I'm not going to chance going through, unless anyone else has been through car washes with 
a Max Air fan and it's been fine, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hand wash this girl right now. She dirty. This is like the prettiest Starbucks I've ever seen. But it used to be a bank. It's so cool. <laughs> so good. Amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I don't know why I didn't film inside of there. I sometimes I forget. I took photos. <laughs> I shared photos on my Instagram story, but I didn't take any video while I was in there. Um, I went to Bomba. Is that how you say it? bomb a tacos so good so good i got like the salsa trio and then i got um this plant-based like chorizo taco and um a brussels sprout one and the uh, and an avocado one the avocado one was okay i highly recommend getting the brussels sprout and the plant-based chorizo one or get, you know, if you're not plant-based, they have other ones there too. They have, you know, but so good. Oh my gosh. So good. Friendly service. I was like, I would live here just so I could go in there because they had bowls too. They had like more things to try. There was like a sweet potato bowl. I was like, oh, this is so, I can't believe I just randomly, I love it. <laughs> saw it and I was like, you know, I wonder if they have some good tacos and looked on their menu. And I was like, Ooh, let me check this place out. So yes, highly recommend Bomba Taco in, where am I? Rocky Hill, Ohio. I'll double check that and put it up on the screen where they're at. And I'll post a photo right now of the tacos. work. This 
this one might work. Piece of driftwood for my mobile. This one might work. Cool pieces of driftwood. Oh, I found the mother load of driftwood pieces. Oh, wow. So many pieces to choose from. Um, that's a nice thick piece. I don't know, I think I like this piece. I think it's perfect for the hanging. Yeah, I'll stick with this piece, but wow, look at all that cool driftwood. It's a pretty bird. I don't know what kind it is. Maybe it's just a sp oh. Uh, sparrow? Chickadee. Oh, that looks like a chickadee. The look in my book. Cucumber, but Ooh. oh, I wonder if they like bananas. I have bananas. Wow, look at all these acorns all over the ground. 
Wow, look at all these acorns. I don't think I've ever seen that many acorns on the ground. Wow. Squirrels better get busy. Look at all these nuts on the ground. Beep, 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 squirrely. <laughs> Another squirrel. This squirrel trying to get a nut. 